Brigade, we have started our journey uh, to school of cricket and we have former Delhi cricketer, first class cricketer and uh, India player, Nitin Minas who is a season coach right now. Welcome to SGTV. Just Thank want you. to know from you, Thank you so much. For, for a little kid yeah. starting fresh, what's the best grip? I'll, I'll get a smaller bat probably. Uh, there is anyone, anything available. What is the best grip when, when it's, a bat is lying on the floor? Yeah. What what should be the grip for, 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 a, for a starter? See, normally, uh, if you go by the conventional method of which, which is taught by the coaches, yeah. it's like, you know, if you take the center, you know, and the V of your hand, yeah. the left hand, it should, the top hand should be here. Yeah. And you know, it, it can be from here till this place, anywhere ranging from the center till this place. And the bottom hand has to be on this place. So that's the ideal grip. But if, if, if you ask me what, what's an ideal grip for me, it would be, Anything which is comfortable to a young kid and with which he can score all around, that's a comfortable grip. That's a new mantra of 360 degree. <laughs> I mean, the kid has to be comfortable. If there's an issue in a particular area where he can't play the shots, then you probably you know, need to see that. But otherwise, if he's no matter how he holds the bat, if he's able to score around the wicket, I think that's we should not tamper with. And 90% and of the kid, I mean, they, uh, they, they hang the bat in the air and no one is tapping the way you used to do it as a... I mean, I've seen the biggest of stroke makers, from Viv Richards to Rivrat Singh to anyone you, you, you talk about, uh, Ricky Ponting, one of the best in the business, is to tap the bat and bat. And these days, all the kids, you go and see, you're, you're, you've championed the uh, a side in IPF, the, the Gujarat side. Uh, Tell me why, what, what's the advantage when you hang it in the air and when you tap the bat? What, what, what is the basic difference? Because you, you used to bat with a, with a, you know, with a, you're tapping the bat and playing those shots. But now things have changed. It's cricket changed so much that you have to keep it in the air. Uh, I think it's, it's more to do with the white ball cricket. Earlier, you know, you used to concentrate a lot on technical aspects of the game. And, uh, you know, in our days, when we used to play, there used to be a lot of em emphasis on the techniques. So probably we 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 were the old school guys. But uh, if you see the current scenario going around, most of the cricket is played with white ball. It's it's about scoring sixes and hitting boundaries. So probably it's it's a bit of you know power game. So okay. maybe that that could be the issue. But 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 if you tap the bat yeah. and Newton's third law, yeah. you know, I mean, then you know, what goes up comes, has to, down. comes down with the same. So in that, through that logic, yeah. the biggest hitters of the ball, cricket ball, Adam Gilchrist, I think, Viv Richards, Yuvraj Singh, uh, Vrindis Seva, yeah. your good friend, yeah. all of them had a, had, used to tap the bat, but they had a long, I mean, good high back lift, lift, high back lift, but but what? how do you explain that? They were really great hitters. See, I would say it's, it's an individual decision, whatever he's comfortable with. I think if they were comfortable with, you know, tapping the bat, it was good for them, why not? And if somebody is happy holding the bat, you know, higher up and he is more than comfortable, he feels still and he is able to hit the ball miles away. So, it's, it's an individual thing. I, I won't go into the details. It's, it's see, it's, let's, let's keep it simple. It's, it's more of, it's, it's about scoring runs no matter how you score and if you're comfortable scoring runs in your own style. Yeah, from your time and the current generation. Yeah. Is it easy to score as a batsman because of current, uh, you know, the predictability of the wicket? See, Your time it was quite different. You didn't no, know. I, what it's it's very difficult when you compare, you know, different eras and different players. I won't go into that, but you know, a hundred is a hundred, no matter you know it was that era or this era. I would not like to take credit away from the batsman or the bowler who's taking five wickets. I think you know we should not compare that. But uh, scoring runs and taking wickets, you know, is the ultimate happiness, and you know. That should be the mantra rather than getting into the finer points of the game. You will learn, you will learn the intricacies of the game as you go on and play along the years. You know, you, you score runs and you fail, you come back, you work on your game and you pick up, you know, finer nuances of the game and you progress accordingly. So let, let it be that way, I think. What, what, what do you see? You're a coach. I mean, of course, you're handling people who are already ready to play for India. You know, essentially that's, that's the role you're looking after Kashmir cricket. But in a child, when, when they start off, what do you, what what do you see in a children uh, in in a in a bats in a in a batter, young batter who's who's 
you shown a lot of potential. What are the potential? What are the area you have your mark as a coach when you, when you see a child who is talented? Nothing much, just how enthusiastic he is yes. uh, to start with. And once you graduate on the next level, you know, what's your attitude is because attitude is one thing you know, that is very, very important whether you're a batsman or you're a bowler. And the most important aspect, you know, what I look for in a player at the senior level is your fighting spirit. That's all. Absolutely. And, and most importantly, you love the sport. And this is what the School of Cricket teaches you. you love the sport, everything will fall in place. Absolutely. This was Mithun Minas talking about the School of Cricket uh, with SG is presenting to you. Thanks a lot.